Alright, we're back. <clears throat> so I really think I should be able to be beat this in like an hour and a half maybe. Uh, I just gotta get to the final zone and uh, finish the game off. Uh, I'm just saying. Mm, so if I, I went down last time and I got the legendary sword for Cecil. And let me check this left side actually in case. Nope, there's nothing. Uh, just a fight. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I think there's a couple more ultimate weapons left to find. Uh, I think Edge has one more because <clears throat> he has the Masamune. He just needs the Muramasa, I believe. Um, I'm not 100% sure exactly how far I've been through this uh, dungeon. But, uh. Yeah, let's just wait and see. And I really don't think I need to use Bahamut anymore. I think I'm strong enough to just auto attack a lot of these enemies down. Especially with this uh, speed leveling. Yeah, last time I figured out the. Uh, magic of level lust which I never figured it out <laughs> prior to uh, this actual playthrough <clears throat> anyways so let's backtrack all the way so I can continue the trek towards the f final region of this area and it, hopefully I didn't miss any uh, in the legendary weapons um, I don't think I did Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like straight death. It's like, no. Oh, it was just uh, doom. There's, again, still 1% left missing <clears throat> somewhere on that particular map. And yeah, this map, too. Oh, it's the same map. Uh, I can't really tell where it is, even if I wanted to get it. Let me try to pay attention to the regular field, just in case I run across a... Uh, across a weapon uh, altar. I feel like they kept that from uh, Final Fantasy 3 because in that game he went to Eureka and pretty much in every not necessarily room but just so f many segments of that uh, dungeon <clears throat> you find legendary weapons of each class type and yeah every class type you have to uh, fight some boss in order to grab said weapon. And I've pretty much done the same here. Yeah. Okay, nothing there. Try to think. I think there's still. Let's see. So I think I got Rosa's best staff. Yeah, the Sage staff. Which. Huh. I guess because she's maxed out on spear, so it doesn't matter even if she has the staff or not, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> so I guess you would use that if uh, early on you're not uh, maxed out yet. Uh, so then, walk over here just in case. 
But yeah, this guy. This guy's funny because he casts a Libra on himself when he shows up. <laughs> He's called a little murderer. But yeah, I'm pretty much I can auto attack him down. He's very weak. He's also by himself. I wonder if he stays alive long enough, he will like summon more goblins to fight or something. That's pretty interesting. It uh takes me all the way back here. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause the uh, secret door is actually inside of uh inside a uh, hole in the wall. <clears throat> but it just totally bypasses that and takes me back out of it. I guess I can just go forward, right? I don't really need to go back for any reason. I guess it's a uh, slightly glitched or whatever because I don't have 100%, even though I'm pretty sure I had 100% of it explored. What's this? Minerva Bustia! This is the uh, strongest ar and, uh, army. Um, <clears throat> armor for the, one of the girls. And I don't know if, uh, there's two of them in this game. I think I'm able to steal one if I really wanted to. Oh, uh, that did no damage. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. So let uh oh. let uh, Ridius MP kind of just increase for a while. So I get to like five hundred. <laughs> pretty good damage even though it's auto attack. I don't think there's any secret rooms here, right? There's definitely a possibility of it happening, but... <clears throat> Since this room's already been scoped out all the way, I don't think I have to worry about secrets. Oh. <clears throat> now I see that there is a uh, magic evasion stat. I don't think I've ever seen a magic attack with. So. I don't even know what's the point of it then, <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> Rose is about to just max out on spirit all the way without even being a max level for one. 
I kind of wish that she actually increased some of her other uh, stats. That's not the case. I feel like this is going to be a weapon, actually. And a save point. Uh, save. I'm pretty sure I can beat anything at this point, because I'm already, like, super high level. Uh, I can just get only a couple more levels, I'm already close to what the level is on the other save file. Again, it's because I figure out <laughs> that there's a level up. Oh, that's it? Oh, it gives me a cottage. There's a level up. Not only that there is a level less uh, augment, but uh, you have to equip it. So in the past I've always gotten it, but I never equipped it. So it's kind of like a waste. Right. I'm pretty sure one of these is supposed to be a weapon. Yes. Oh, that looks like the Holy Lance. That's what I'm talking about. Because <clears throat> everyone got their uh, legendary armor, or whatever. Oh, I need to equip the Minerva Bustier. Bustier. Maybe I should give it to you. Maybe I should give it to Rydia. Only because I need her alive. Uh, though she's not attacking, though. That's the thing. Maybe I should give it to Rosa. This does give her defense and evasion, actually, but. I think because she doesn't attack, like auto attack, then it's better off giving it to Lady Rosa. Even though. She wears a white robe. It will take away all of her spirit, actually. Uh, yeah, let's give it to Rosa. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's give you the... Oh. 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 She cannot wear the light... Light garb. That's fine. I don't care. Uh... Because I'm thinking more about damage output. And of course, it probably gets to a point where Rose will be consistently healing. But until that time comes, I'm going to not worry about that. Those who seek this hollowed lance shall have naught but their damnation. Oh. This thing. The eyeball enemy. I think I remember that this is what happens. I don't know if it attacks me. I think it, we just had to kill it as fast as possible. Uh, let's put Berserk on somebody. Holy crap. I don't know if I'm going to have time. Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kill it fast enough. Got a berserk. Berserk king. Oh, sorry, dead. <laughs> Too easy. Again, that's what happens when you overlevel. You don't have to worry about too much. Oops. 
And we get a buttload of experience. Yoss, yoss. I wonder if Edge is ever going to get, like, multiple increases instead of just one increase to each uh, attribute. Alright, we got some Holy Lance action. Alright, Kane. The defender is really good. I just want that damage. Ooh, and like super accuracy too. That is really good. Yep, he is fully dragoned out and he's really uh, protected against magic, I guess, elemental damage. So that's good. Uh, what else we got? Yeah. Let's get back to the action. I guess I can go back and save. It's right there. I guess I can also use a tent for no reason, other than I have a plenty of tents. See how much her auto attack does actually. Ooh, 5,000. That's so good. Yeah, go ahead, use your weak ice storm. I'm too buff now. Maybe you just need to do anything. I guess Radiant can just absorb then, or uh, Osmos. Oh, more strength, please. I'm trying to think. I think Ez just needs his, and Rydia needs... Wait, what? Oh, we're not really because she's blessed relics to the likes of you! Oh. Lunasaur. I guess it's uh, two uh, special items or weapons. Bad breath. Oh, no. Uh, it's remedies, some people. Uh, probably Rosa. Ouch! And of course, it's because she's the only one that had a ribbon. And that's why uh, we're like this. Oh. So we're just chilling here. Eventually, someone will hit somebody else, and get... there we go. Oh, that one damage. God damn it. <laughs> uh oh, this is bad though. We're just gonna be killing each other. <laughs> oh, jeez. How did this happen? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Mm, I guess that's how this ends. I think I should probably put it on, like, and I'm talking about the ribbon. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Damn it! Uh, let's raise you. Ouch! How you find hit me, foe? Oh wow! What's going on? Oh, so really has to be using her magics. So this is where the piercing magic would have been perfect, actually. So I'll just keep trying to attack with uh, Edge. We'll see. But yeah, Radio's gonna have to do some magic er, action. Uh, I need to cast Reflect though. I wonder if I can throw. Will this hit? Oh, 
let's just summon. Screw it. I know you're weak against uh, holy and fire. There's no way around it. <clears throat> so there's still a uh, percentage chance that. Um, actually, this arise. I don't even know how much damage that did, actually. 45% is still good, actually, but I just keep missing. Alright, we flip. Uh -oh. oh, all nines. Uh, Kane. I think I just keep summoning with Rydia, but I can uh, use Holy. Ooh, I can use Holy with. Uh... Oh, it looks like Holy's not even uh, the weakness, actually. Shite. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Sina. God damn it. Fire! Still hilarious, the frogs are trying to hit each other. Dead? No? Did like three times. I'm glad it actually stops doing uh, bad breath. I was a little afraid that uh, Cecil was going to kill everybody using Bad Breath. But we're good. Oh, I forgot! Kane has that. That's okay. Still not dead, eh? Hey. Get ready, please. <laughs> I love how it's a pig with a bow. Dead now? Nope. Uh... Uh, ah. I don't care if somebody's dead and don't get doesn't get the experience. He just hit himself. That's okay. Oh, mini. Finish him. Yes. Yes. Cecil's head, anyways, on levels, so he can be down. No one even gained level, anyways. Oh, I forgot. Echo screen. Oh, it's called Echo Herbs in this game. <clears throat> in other Final Fantasies, uh, it's called Echo Herbs. Or, Echo Screen, I mean. And in other Final Fantasies, I mean uh, Final Fantasy X. So let's see what rare relics we got here. Ribbon. Ribbon. Oh yeah. That's some good stuff. Definitely get Rosa with the ribbon. She can definitely use it. Rita has it. I guess uh, 
Rage can have it. Because the other two have, like, specialized stuff already. Yeah. And then hopefully I get uh, Edge's other legendary sword. Or katana. I should save that, too. That's an annoying fight. Yeah, I wonder what happens, or what would have happened if I didn't get Ribbon for Rydia. Then again, she got killed anyway, so it didn't matter. I think eventually I would have been able to uh, move. On accident. Bleh. Oops, I all attacked again on accident. Again, not like I was going to cast anything anyways, but I should have again I'll use Osmos. I was like, I should be really defended against that now. Between just having more levels than before and then also getting better gear now. Defensive gear, that is. Yep. Easy kill. I remember just gonna be a straight shot to the final boss. I'm not even going to like grind anymore. Mm, so whatever I fight, I fight. Yeah. I wonder if I should actually get curse for somebody. Again, it lowers the stats of the enemy. I think since it's on normal, I don't have to worry about that. Poison axe. Have I gotten one of those before? Pretty sure I have, actually. Plus, like, there's nothing stronger than this holy axe and uh, Ragnarok, anyways, right? Yeah. Gives strength, but it takes away attack. Miss something up there, yeah. Let's go back up then. Or it could be that there's more weapons down here. I don't know.
I feel like it should be the weapon up here. No, it's just some random <laughs> spot of the uh, thing above. Stardust. The strength increase. I wonder if uh, these characters still getting like intelligence and stuff is because uh, if you use a throwable item that does magic damage, it kind of factors off of that. That kind of makes sense actually. Even then, uh, you wouldn't really use <laughs> items with that character then. Alright. Oh, I didn't need to auto attack with Rydia. She missed anyways. Look at that holy damage. Yeah! Mm, yes, all nines. Curl whiskers. We cast death. Hard snow. Alright. Last stretch. So I don't even know if I got all of the legendary weapons or whatever, but it doesn't matter. So we're on the home stretch here. I think that's on the other side. Yeah. Oh! Skip the battles. Switch to uh, my whips, Dragon Whisker. Go ahead and, uh, well, I guess I could actually drain from these other enemy types that we're gonna meet in here. But. Oh. Attack! It's like it has like extra evasion or something. She only has a 70% hit rate. If everyone can hit it once, it should be dead, but I already hear whiffing happening. 91% whiffed? What? These percentages are always like super lame. At least the edge is at 100%. Yes. So yeah, I feel like these behemoths are for level checks. Like, are you strong enough to get past?
Oh yeah, here we are. You'd be like, what the hell is this? I'm like, it's a death mask. Uh oh. I better uh, heal that, you know, it shouldn't be doing too much damage, yeah. Doesn't do too much damage, but still, you don't want it to be hitting me <laughs> too much, because we can only tank so much damage. Do, 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 do. I supposed to be liberating it. Oh, I was healing, that's why. I forget how much it originally has, HP wise. Like 45,000? Maybe more? I saw my whip out actually. I need to switch it back to the fairy rod. But why'd you do reflect for? Makes no sense. More because I hit it with the elemental, but that doesn't make sense either. Cause uh, cause it didn't like counter when I hit it. the whip the first time. Let's bring you back to Stardust Rod. Oh, I'm actually maxed out on uh, Intellect, so there's no point. I'm using the Stardust Rod. That's cool. I will take that, then. Yeah, a lot of these items, like these legendary weapons, is for when, uh, again, you're not maxed out. Even though I'm not even maxed out, I'm only at level 70 something. But I'm already capped out on the main attribute. Oh, another one. Yeah, it wouldn't be so bad if I could just, like, cast magic on it, but it's gonna be dumb about it. I need to figure out who has the most damage output, and then just. Berserk that person. Or just berserk them all. Especially if they're all auto attacking. So I think Cecil is actually the best one, but I should probably leave him for healing just in case. I doubt it will use a. Uh... Whatchamacallit? Maelstrom. Because Maelstrom only happens if uh, you cast magic on it. on her, doesn't matter. Might just die before it gets no oh, well. I'm not doing damage fast enough. <laughs> Unless Kane just like keep doing damage. Yeah, actually, I might kill it before Rosa can uh, resurrect Rydia. I'm gonna wait then. Got this! Oh, Kane's too fast. Kane's too fast. Sorry, Rydia. No experience for you. Ooh, power armlet. No, I don't think I need it. Yeah, it feels like a protect ring or something, then maybe. the power. 
I have three power armors actually, but I'm not gonna use them. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a uh, legendary weapon for Edge. That's okay, I don't really, really need it. Another one. I think they're all. Um, what am I doing? I think I'm just auto attacking. Actually, can I Osmos through the uh, Reflect? So we'll see. This will be a test. Now, this thing has 32. Thousand experience. Oh no, what's going on here? That actually is for the benefit of me because I could cast something on my whole party and then it'll reflect and hit the face. I call it the death mask. It's almost dead, anyways, though, so I think I'll just auto attack. Jeez, that does a lot of damage still. Yep. Oh, she's super maxed out now. Kane's still working his way up to max strength. I don't think uh, Cecil is maxed out on strength though. Oh, he is maxed out on strength, but he's not doing like max damage. I Meaning like all nines. So that's like my max output I'm gonna get on these uh, enemies. Oh, here's uh, Edge's final weapon. I knew I didn't miss anything. Yeah, let's do it. Ah. Oh. I really should. I really should just auto attack or something. It's a good thing he reflects himself first before he reflects the party. Because I can get this heal off before he uh, does that. And I guess that is another reason why I should give Rosa the piercing magic ability. That's okay though. Finish him. I forget if I can actually reflect the whole party or not. Light the curtain. Alright. The Ensorcelled? Blade of Masamune will never bend its will to that of men from the blue planet. Uh oh. Oh, Leviathan. Or Ogopogo. Ogopogo! There's Leviathan's uh, counter self. Better get some shell and protect up in here. Maybe just protect, actually. Oh, Jesus. Some in Ruma. Pretty much she's only gonna use Deluge, which is messed up. I think I should just have uh, Cecil and Rosa just continuously heal us. Cause again, I don't wanna get hit by this uh, Deluge too many times. Or like, not heal in between Deluges. Is... Let me actually see if I can slow him down. So the Shell definitely helped. I think Shell took away like 800 points of damage, give or take. Which is definitely a good thing. Ah, oh, <laughs> not its weakness. Maybe it doesn't have any weakness. That means I should uh, 
Hmm, hit him with some Bahamut. Bahamut. Let's see if I can keep healing. Blaze! Oh shit. Okay. Let's just have both of us do the healing then. Even though <laughs> that Blaze did not do that much damage. But I'm just being safe. And that name's pretty funny. Uh, Ogo Pogo. I wonder if that's like a different culture's name for Leviathan, or some sort of serpent enemy, or monster. Should be done pretty soon, actually. Alright, haste, uh, who's a face? In case I need to do another Bahamut strike, I don't think I will need to, but you never know. Yeah. Yeah. And at least he doesn't do like a, de a death deluge on us. I think there are definitely some enemies in future games that do, uh, do like kind of. Was it when they die they cast something or do does something? Luckily they are not. Uh, Ogopogo is not one of them. Alright, I guess that is the last uh, uh, legendary weapon. Masamune. Bye. Yeah, I wish I could keep this to be something else, but the ribbon is just too good. It's like. The name of the game is Sustain. Like, oh wow, I'm actually at full health. Just to sustain and not lose uh, HP or anything like that. So, yeah, and uh, pretty much there's no more safe spaces, I believe. It was the last room I did. Is uh, the last place with a safe space. Right. So I'm just gonna sit here and uh, recover some MP before the final battle. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm very tempted to cast something, but I think I'll just keep in attacking it. Oh, never mind. So it's not the same as asleep or confused. Once you're paralyzed, you're paralyzed for a little bit. That's pretty good. So yeah, pretty much free hits right here, because uh, it got paralyzed. The thing is, like, because we keep attacking, time freezes every time the character goes to attack. So he's not getting out of this paralysis before he dies. I don't think so, anyways. Because he is dead now. Yes. Yes. Headband. <laughs> Super weak. Yeah, still just getting single digit. Oh, I didn't even take any damage. Single digit uh, increases. Also dead end over here, but no back attack.
I will say it's probably one of my favorite uh, boss themes out of all the retro Final Fantasies. I feel like Final Fantasy VIII's uh, boss battle theme is pretty dope as well. Yeah, I'm talking about just like generic boss battle. Because uh, Final Fantasy VII, you have like uh, specialized boss battles. While uh, again, Final Fantasy VII, or VIII, the generic boss battle theme song is pretty dope. Army just feels like running away from these. I feel like it's just an auto battle, actually. So I'm just gonna be auto attacking, anyways. And then hoping that Rydia uh, paralyzes him. I think she can learn that. Or maybe I didn't know, but I just forgot that she does. Some good stuff, though. Oops. Because <laughs> we know the lore about Meteor. It usually consumes its caster, but I guess somehow uh, she's immune to it. But I will take it. So it's supposed to be this one enemy type. I don't know if we'll meet it. I keep seeing this guy. But there's actually other parts to this guy, not just his face. But we just keep seeing his head. It makes me feel like this place is kind of like a robot, like, creation facility, even though it's just like underground cavern. But, you know, all we see is. Even just like the flooring kind of looks somewhat similar to the, uh, Factory style areas. <sighs> oh no. You know, I wonder if some of the other weapons have like innate uh, characteristics that they don't tell us about. Like, say, the fairy rod actually does like a uh, multiplier for damage output. Stuff like that. But they don't tell us that, but we just gotta like either figure out or know somehow. But gold hourglass. Oh jeez, no one of these. Just auto attack. <laughs> Oh yeah, all right, battle's done. I wonder if it's inevitable for most uh, party's levels to get this high. Um, though when I've been doing it before, I just sat around and grinded extra for no reason. 
Um, just getting just the overkill. And then the final boss, so it's not a, a difficult fight. But. I definitely get to a point where I'm not like leveling up every couple battles. And there is a post-game uh, dungeon and all that, but I've never done it. <laughs> so after I beat um, the main story, I'm like, eh. The rest is just like for fun. There's no more lore, I guess. And that's the thing with Final Fantasy. I'm more for the lore. The uh, you know battle system is fun and all, but I'd rather just fight. For I mean, uh, listen to the story and stuff. There's only a few games that I would actually play past, like, ha really have replay value right away. Um, say one in StarCraft. Uh, I beat the cur uh, <laughs> I beat the campaign plenty of times, but uh, I definitely uh, find value in playing the multiplayer mode. It's uh, usually less stressful, especially if you play on lower difficulties. And, uh, yeah, just very leisure, so I can just, like, watch stuff while I'm playing it. Um, I kind of wish that they continued the story somehow. I don't know. Maybe create new characters or expand on the existing characters. But it's really hard to, like, continue a storyline like that, because that was forged, like, back when, like, I was a kid, you know? Mm. Even then, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Starcraft was probably been made while I was an infant. I really have to go back and see when it was released, but yeah, I definitely uh, was very young when I first played it. Probably in middle school, give or take. Um, I still have the original Starcraft and Brood War uh, CDs. But now they've uh, remastered it, actually, so instead of playing, like, a uh, ported or a uh, map-edited version of StarCraft 1 and Brood War using the StarCraft 2 engine, you can actually play their remake of, or their remaster of StarCraft, the original. Um, I don't remember if I actually played it at all. I think I started to, but then I kind of gave up on it. Because, again, those uh, missions aren't, aren't, aren't easy, for sure. Um, not to say like the modern day ones, StarCraft II's um, campaign is easy. Um, I probably I beat it on hard, I believe, for uh, all three campaigns. But I definitely won't do brutal because again, it's just brutal, <laughs> and uh, I just want to play leisurely. Jeez, oh, I might have to heal actually. Cause people get whiffing. Stop whiffing. Cause even on whiff you get hit. It's kind of dumb. No, I'm not going to uh, cast magic. It's about to die anyways. I should be dead before you can even uh, heal, but yeah. Another headband. I don't know what I would do if I got more ribbons. Maybe I, I still wouldn't um, equip them. Watch me get one. Maybe not. I wonder if that one ribbon drop was scripted. Because I got one off of Sorcerers. But I have not gotten one off of Sorcerers since then. Oh, I hate these things. Hit them because I don't do that much damage. And of course, they counterattack everything you do. Or every uh, attack you pull off. Maybe not every attack, but enough of the attacks. Too bad, uh. That'd be kind of cool if you can counterattack a counterattack. Because I forgot who I equipped it to. Somebody has the counterattack uh, augment.
It's kind of interesting that, uh, so when your party does a move, they pretty much freeze the bars for everybody else. But if the enemy is doing a move, all of our bars continue to, uh, fill up. Again, it's probably by design, but it's interesting that they did that. Because of the uh, items. Still... Nope, still got ten. Yeah, it looks like again I'm gonna be at the same level in this save file as I was in the previous save file. I'm kind of afraid to do, use Flare though, because he might counter or uh, put Reflect on himself. I wonder if he does it at a certain HP threshold. So let's actually wait. Nope. Or, yep. Okay, I think one of us is about to die. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why I didn't really want to do it, but I just wanted to do it. <laughs> So I'll just kill uh, <laughs> Kane all over again. Pow pow. Uh oh. As it doesn't hit. Oh, really? I'm sorry. <laughs> if only I uh, just auto attacked instead of use flare. Should be the last level, right? I think I am about to get to the final boss. Oh, almost. This is definitely the final level, though. Oh, shit. Who are you? Someone's malice. Uh, Libra. I'm going summon on him. Oh, jeez. Shell, too. See if I can dispel before I cast, uh... I think I can. Before I cast Bahamut. He's gonna keep shelling, though, I think. Yeah. We'll see, though. Maybe he won't, uh shell before I can Bahamut him. Again, the spell counts as a magic, so I'm pretty sure he will. Yep. He's dead anyways. Oh no, that's cheap. It's okay. I think only... Oh, nobody got confused. He dead! Late Zemus is whatever malice you are defeated. Oh wow, still got all nines even though he has shell on. That's the power of 99 intellect. He doesn't get that much experience though. Tis a shame. Wow, I did I not take any damage? Because <laughs> all I did was uh, keep counter using shell and protect. I think I might see the other pieces of. The robot thingy. And I forgot how they fight, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, he's not here, though.
Oh, this is the uh, Absorber's Fire? Did I see that right? That makes sense, he's pretty much a uh, yeah, flaming ball. I should not use uh, Bahamut, that's such a waste. 99 experience, or, uh, magic points. I should probably just auto attack actually, not even worry about casting or summoning. Man. <laughs> Still gaining attributes even though I don't really need them anymore. I feel like the enemy is kind of a waste, like, if all you're gonna do is just counter with shell and protect, like, how are you actually gonna do damage to me? my MP back. I should actually uh, Osmos from him since he has this magic to uh, counter with uh, these protect skills. spells. Might be dead by the time I do it though. But oh, it's because you have shell on, right? Is that why it didn't do as much as I was hoping? Oh, jeez, <laughs> 132. If only Edge had more strength. Yeah, I think we're at the core. Final battle. Golbez, Fusoya. Fusoya. <laughs> just posing up. <laughs> Fusoya. Yeah, these dudes are weak. Golbez and Fusoya. I mean, Fusoya, we already knew he was capped out at that level 50. Uh, what's your call it? Level 50 stats. He's smart, though. He do slow. I'm assuming slow works for everybody. Like, there's not a single enemy that is resistant to slow. Come on, Gobez, you're stronger than this. Granted, uh, <laughs> Zemus is part ultra powerful. Use Meteor for Soya. Not holy. It's nearly done. Give your power to Meteor. They're both gonna cast it very well. Yes, use all of your strength. Twin Meteor! Damn, all nines, right? Bam. Oh, 999999. Even with this more shell is gone, my spirit will live on. Supposed to leave him for me. Oh, he's coming. Cecil. He's missing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's not missing. He's just getting up. Wow. It's like in Power Rangers, where they turn to 
ultra big. Dang. Zeromas. 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 Oh damn. Oh. I love how they. Oh, no damage. I love how they, uh. Don't use any MP. It's no use, Meteor isn't working. Gobez, use the crystal. Crystal. You tread the path of darkness. That crystal will shed no light for you. Your hands will only stain it darker still. Die. Mega Death? That'd be funny if you did Mega Death. Nope. Oh. Encounter with Meteor. Double KO. Oh. Wow, that didn't even do all nines. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> we weren't even in the fight, but they hit us with it. You bastards. Oh no. Of course this is the power of friendship. <laughs> Lend up your energy. No, the entire world. Alum, Olum, we must see that all the prayers made here reach Cecil and his friends on the moon. <laughs> this is probably the like epitome this is of friend. or like this is your what Please is it? Courage. The best part of uh Dragon Ball Z <laughs> when he channeled the spear bomb for, for the first time. And give him your energy. Who are you two? <laughs> oh, they're the uh, priestess from Choria, aren't they? Let's take this crystal out of nowhere. It must be you. Zeromus. Crystal time. This is the end for you. This is the end for Not you. Us. Oh, why, Cecil? Why are we all dead? Here. Just gotta raise everybody. Let us help you. Their prayers bestow life. The power of friendship. Have courage. So why is Teller there? He did. Edward is not dead yet, but. Their prayers bestow strength. <laughs> Give it to the females. The Yang and Sid. Maintain your focus. Come back to us, you hear? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their 
the prayers bestow vitality. One more person. Yes, Kobaz and Fusoya. Shine your light upon them, even though they're like knocked out next to us. But they lend us their energy. My brother. Brother. Use the howl light within you. Use it! <laughs> it's like every Resident Evil <laughs> game. At the end they're like, use it! And it's just some like super weapon of some sort. Soro must show your true face. Their prayers imbue Sisu with holy might. Where's Cecil? Use it! Hopefully I didn't do that too early. Slow doesn't work. Hopefully I was supposed to throw the crystal right away. Oh wait, maybe I have... Uh oh. Zemus reveals his true nature. <laughs> Whoa. He's transformed just in time to get summoned on. Mega Flare. Oh, this uh, battle thing is pretty dope itself. It's very techno. Or something. Trance. Oh! I lost most. Oh, I'm not cheating. Why are you cheating? Brother. It's okay. Oh, shit. I think Black Hole. What does Black Hole do? All magic effects nullified. Oh, meaning uh, shell protect, so on and so forth. I didn't even cast anything yet, so I'm lucky. <sighs> I was thinking Black Hole would uh, send somebody to the next dimension or something. I should throw some Fuma Shurikens, actually. Big bang. What is this? Uh... Oh, I was like, did that not do anything? Gotta take more than that, son. I'm gonna wait so I can uh, heal myself before I do anything else. Uh oh. That's gonna be something dumb. I just know it. Straight jam into this beat right here. Oh no! Ah. Fine. Let's fight you the normal way. <laughs> should be pretty. Should be deadly. Should probably be dead pretty soon. Probably done over 4,000. Or 40,000 damage already. Building die. Gaining MP too. Pow pow. I wonder if a uh, black hole would cancel out bless. Actually, I don't think it matters though. Still not dead. <laughs> You did it. He rumbled like four times, I think, or at least three times. Yeah, 
He has only attacked once. Uh oh. It's supposed to be soon. Oh, there's the second time he attacked. I think uh, Edge might be dead, actually. Oh, it only does a proportional amount of damage. Nope. Edge is dead. Edge dead. Dead Edge. We all got sat. Crappy. Thanks. Still not done yet. Uh, Lydia, take some dry ether. Uh oh. Uh oh. I should as well use the Mega Elixir. I think I should be okay. Because it's over! We are victorious against the darkness. Whoops. <laughs> My controller unplugged. Mm, they extend to death, though. He looks like a big bug. Hots. <laughs> he said hots. <laughs> you are defeated. You've truly done it. I'd no idea there was such strength in you. You of the Blue Planet may have already grown more powerful than we of the Moon. It does rather look that way, doesn't it? <laughs> but what of the final words Aroma spoke? As long as there is darkness. There will always be evil in men's hearts. We all of us bear a touch of darkness, just as surely as we bear light, much as with the twin sets of crystals. Hmm. And the darkened underworld that rests beneath your planet's brighter surface. But as long as there is darkness, so will there always be light. Always. Just as the light within you rose to overcome the shadow cast by Zemus. Well, now that you mention it, I did feel a bit of glow. Yay. Are you joking? <laughs> it's a miracle Zemus didn't end up using you. <laughs> My love of justice kept him at bay, no doubt. Justice. Well then, the time has come for me to join my people in their sleep. What will you do now? We will return to our planet. Our friends are waiting. I see. You are lucky to have such friends. I look forward to the day we can meet again. Might you permit me to accompany you? You would join me? Join I would. Me? I cannot return. Not after all I've done. And I would very much like to meet my father's people. At least one time. I see. Yes, our blood flows in your veins too. You know this will be a very long slumber. I do. Cecil. You called me brother. Brother. I suppose I can expect no more than that. All you've suffered until now has been because of me. We must go now. 
and sleep. We will pray for the peace of your planet. Come, let us go. Yes, yes. Is this all right, letting him go? Your brothers. Farewell. Damn. To the next dimension. Farewell, my brother. Hmm. How sad. Theodore. That is kind of similar to uh, Star Wars with the Anakin. Because he didn't turn to Darth Vader until he uh, again mm. got beckoned by the dark side and made his total transformation. So that was the red moon. It uh, mm. went back to whence it came. I think. Uh, though. Hmm. Wait. Yeah. Burst from womb of dragons small and born unto the stars, by light and darkness cast aloft, our dreamt er, our dream tide oaths resworn, moon is swathed in ever light, ne'er again to show eclipse or er, to no eclipse, earth with hallowed bounty re reconciled, yet fleeting is the reverie, when moon from shadow there has egressed, guided forth anew by light made manifest, two bound up by ties of blood, by time and fate then rest apart unto lunar light. And guy in breast. <laughs> the worst prophecy ever. Because it doesn't rhyme all the way. I'm really bad at poetry, anyways. Hmm. Luna Well goes back to whence it came. Well, then, let us begin today's session. Or less. All right. Where's Palum? Oh, not again. <laughs> so I cast a mighty blizzard on the rage. Say, <laughs> like, bro, let's go. Why are you going to stop that? The other is furious with you. <laughs> He's just trying to pick up some girls. How many times must I tell you the same thing before it sinks into that thick skull of yours? You've a big deal of growing up to do if you ever plan to be the sort of mage Tella was. Two more hours of spell transcription for you. Aw, oh, not again. You've only yourself to blame, you know. Your young highness, you are the heir to our kingdom's throne. You have responsibilities. I know that. Then may I, might I suggest you stop chasing after this daydream maiden of yours and start fulfilling some sort of er some of them? Right, right. A little more sincerity would go a long way. But Rydia, there's not a girl in this world that will ever come close to you. Damn straight. <laughs> Your Highness. Her anime, her like CGI version is definitely <laughs> very hot. She has a, she has become a fine young woman indeed. And to think she would return here to us, Lydia. Lydia, why do I have fangs? What? I want to be the same as you. What do you mean we're all the same? There's no difference between humans and idolins. The Fae March is going to become a very interesting place in the days ahead, isn't it? Most certainly, and one not lacking for beauty. <laughs> oh, jeez. All that matters is what's inside us. Isn't that right, Cecil? Mm, I wonder if she has a cross on her Cecil. Honey. You're a queen now. Won't you make a little effort to speak like one? Yang, you know I can't stand all that prim and proper stuff. Oh no, it's already past time for today's training. Come along. 
Yes, Your Highness. Always running out on me. Do not fault your husband. He'll build a fine new fabul for us all. I have no doubt of it. Oh, poor Edward. Interesting enough, they never made it so that we had to switch out party members. Prince Edward! Sing us a song about the paladin again. I would be most happy to, but not until you finish your chores for the day. You want the castle to be back the way it was again, don't you? Of course. But you promised you'll sing it, right? Can't uh, break your promises to the kids, Anna. Please wait for me. I must be strong and live on here for the people of Dempsian. Be at peace, Witella. Laliho. Listen up, doors. We're going to make this castle good as new again. Your Majesty, we've not the materials. Then scrap the tanks. They'll see no more use now, anyhow. I wonder how Cecil and the others are doing. I've just received some good news in that regard. Cecil and Rosa are to become king and queen of Baron. Yay! <laughs> Yosh! Really? And not only that, we've been invited to the coordination. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Your Majesty, you're not helping at all. Did I tell you to go sc <laughs> scrap the tanks? Ali ho! <laughs> and Kane. Off to uh, reform himself. Cecil. Rosa. I have no right to bear witness to your joy. Not like this. I will temper myself here, on Mount Ordeals. And then, when I become an even finer dragoon than my father, perhaps then I can return. Until that day comes, I can but wish you well. Yeah, cause he's been a bad boy. Oh my. What is it? The moon, it's... See for yourself. <gasps> yeah, I believe it's going away, right? <laughs> they definitely reused this clip because we really just saw it. Yeah, because <laughs> so I was thinking like, wait, when did the, t how the time lapse forward? Yeah. Hmm. So for some reason, our Earth or this Earth has two moons. And the one was supposed to be a red moon. I thought it was like that little red blip on the right there. Um. Hmm. Strange. I think. Huh. Not sure. What is it, Cecil? Nothing. I just... I could have sworn I heard my brother's voice. You did? It... it must have been my imagination. Oh, Sid. What are you two still doing here? It's a beautiful sunny day in this blah blah blah. I'm sorry, we lost track of time. You have all the time, blah blah, love you, stuff out of the system, blah blah. Come along, Rose. Uh, or should I say, your majesty? Please, I'll always be Rosa to you. Really? You mean it? Why is it speaking so fast? <laughs> well then, Rosa, but I can't... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Jesus. I've got a mate already. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen anyone, has it? Or everyone. They'll be arriving soon. You best hurry too, Cecil. Right. 
I heard it. I'm sure of it. My brother. He said farewell. <laughs> I love how Cecil's uh, garments didn't change. He's still wearing the same paladin stuff. While Rosa again changed her wedding dress. <laughs> Palum, you don't give a crap. <laughs> Stop flirting with the girls. King Cecil. Yeah! Happy endings for everybody! <laughs> Dog pile! So, funny enough, this is kind of how. Well, I can't say how Final Fantasy XV ended, but they did do like a mock wedding. Um, so, yeah. So I'll just let it scroll for a little bit. If I can skip it. Nope. Can't skip it. Hmm. Okay then. Shall I let the credits roll? Use the restroom. We'll continue after the credits have rolled. Yeah, that guy. What was his name again? Bygen or something like that? Dark Elf. Maga Sisters. Sandy, Mindy, and. Cindy? Puppets. I didn't realize how many bosses were in this game, actually. Scarlet Maloney. Something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he slipped off. I don't even know. <laughs> I can't pronounce some of these uh, Archfiend's names. Even her. It was a pain too to fight her again when you didn't have Kane to knock her out of the uh, tornado form. Good old uh, Rubicante. <laughs> Good old uh, dude that kept changing his name every so often.
for soya. The end all. Oops. There's a lot of credits without any song to it. Square Enix. Oh, so that was it. This is a lot more. Huh. Mm -hmm. Usually doesn't have like quiet credits like this. <clears throat> but yeah, so that is the playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. Again, I'm pretty much playing as many as I can before Remake 7 comes out. Um, and I heard that it actually has. Uh, an episodic release like scheme or something like that not quite sure if that's true uh, I would have to I guess read up on it um, if that's the case maybe I have more time than I think because it'd be much better if it just or I just wait for it, the whole thing to be released at once so I just play through at my leisure without having to like wait for the next uh, piece um, but I guess we'll just wait and see and of course I can just read up on it but in the meantime, I just keep playing through all these Final Fantasies. I have uh, After Years to do, Final Fantasy IV After Years, the sequel to this game, Final Fantasy V, VI, and seven, and then uh, hopefully I'm ready. <laughs> uh, oh, post credits. And that's uh, Cecil's parents and Theodore and. Cecil's still back at home. That is the end.